Greetings fellow Guyanese. Venezuelans don't like us and it's about time we stop pretending like we like them. So, a few weeks ago, we did a video highlighting certain facts about Guyana. And we principally told Venezuela to ball all their scunt up into one bundle and carry it. Guyana has territorial disputes with both Venezuela and Suriname, but they can both carry the scunt because they're not getting even a blade of grass. Anyways, we can easily comment section of the video arguing whether this thing is chicken curry or curry chicken. And I don't know who sent them Venezuelan crass to our video, but they started commenting. And this is what some of them had to say. But how we are crazy people and we will see when they recover their territory, we will be punished for our Guyanese ignorance and uh, ha ha, calm down, we will see, this is theirs for a long time and we will see how crazy it's gonna be. The only thing we will see is this brown lowly in your BT. In fact, I wish I could catch all of them one by one and clap a hot bugger in on all of them, but we will see. Guyanese, you need to fully understand what is really taking place with this border controversy. The Dutch founded the Essequibo in the early 1600s, and then it changed hands to the British in 1831 when we became British Guyana. During the second half of the 19th century, a dispute broke out between Venezuela and Great Britain over the location of our border. After an arbitration, a joint commission with representatives from both countries delined the border in 1905 and it was accepted by both parties. This issue was settled for close to 63 years until Venezuela catch a demon and claim that they were cheated by the tribunal and therefore the borderline that them same self mark is null and void. What is scunt? This like suing a girl for half she pot a cake and the winning then coming back and say you want the other side flag. So the British and Venezuela signed the Geneva Agreement in 1966 which was intended to give Venezuela a chance to prove their claim that they were cheated in the arbitral award. And that same year, we gained our independence, and Artachong tell them carry the scunt. And they did. The issue was asleep for a while, until them sting batty people here we get aisle. Now they're making threats to us about how we can see. Imagine, they're hungry till the women coming over here and picking fear with a big pokey, and they want war. Since when people is war on an empty stomach. We told them a long time ago that we weren't willing to give up not even a blade of grass. You think we can be willing to give a drop of oil? Share this video with the caption, not one drop scunt.